Good morning, my friends. Welcome. Welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya, Sidekick Crafts. You guys, I've got a lot of inspiration on my desk today, so forgive me because I have been getting ready for this video, finding some of the things that I wanted to work with, and I'm so very excited to get going. If you know, I just started this journal this last week, and this is the cover. That's what I've got so far, and we've got the inside of it done. We have the some pockets made out of guitar strings done. Well, almost done. I'm still working on these, um, but I haven't decided what to do on this side. So these are just the guitar string pockets, and they fit perfectly. These were for my kids, and I'm super excited to use those. So today I am using some of my new Timu dies. I've got this one that I started. I made a little journaling card to go in there, as well as this is the um, the die that it came from. I'm going to show you the, well, maybe I won't show you. It's got the little gifts it's got little presents and hearts that go with it. So it's a crisp, it's like a Christmas car, like the, the little red truck, it's a little red car. But I thought, what perfect cruising vehicle to the beach than one of these really cool cars. So this is going to be inserted in here somewhere. So that's part of this journal as well. And I'll leave a, a link to this Timu die in the description box if you're interested in this. I absolutely love it. I wanted to show you that you can use these things, even if it's a Christmas die or intended as such, you can use it for other things. Look, I made some yellow ones. I made a bunch of them. <laughs> it's so much fun. And I just colored the tires and, um, and the rims. And yeah, I just made quite a few. And I'll be making more because I want some Christmas ones too. But I thought these would be fun for this journal and these colors and these papers. I'm not going to put all of these in there, of course. But I did make several extra since I was doing it. It was so easy. And I love, love, love how they turned out. So you guys, that link will be in the description box also for that die if you're interested in it. This one is, let me see if the, the measurement's here. This one is three and a quarter long and about an inch and a half tall. So that's the measurement on that one. Super, super cute. As you can see, I absolutely love this. And I thought it was perfect for the beach theme. I put some old, uh, truly vintage paper in here and just made a little journaling card. I may stamp or something on the back of it. I'm not sure, but right now I just really like the look of it, nice and clean and fresh. So that's part of that. I'm just kind of making things for this journal right now. I don't even have the pages set up. But the next thing I wanted to do, I have this die as well. This one was from my stash. I apologize, I don't remember where I got this one specifically. Um, it's either from Timu or it's from AliExpress. I'm not sure. I bet you can probably find it on Timu somewhere. Um, it is almost, I cut some out, it's almost the perfect size for this. So once the pages get in there, it might be just slightly too long. And that's okay, because I can trim it back. But I want to make, was thinking of making pockets with it. This is my thought. And I already cut these pieces out so you wouldn't have to worry about it but oops, you know what I keep remembering I've got that ruler tool let's get it out this one was from Timu as well I can also put the link of this in there this roller tool is pretty darn cool and it gets all oh, so pieces out usually pretty well if they're cut well it'll get them out and you don't have to sit there and fuss and poke each one individually isn't that amazing oh, I love it it works pretty good it comes with a little foam mat and the roller tool, look, it's just gonna pop them out for me, maybe. <laughs> this one, I don't know that it kept that as well. Well, usually it works pretty good. Um, I think it's just not cut well, which is no fault of the tool. Here, let's see if I can get these. Yeah, it's not cut real well, and that's okay. Um, this is, this is, this was from watercolor paper. That's why I didn't use a shim on it, thinking that it was gonna cut so it's not about the die cut, it's just um, I didn't shim it, and I should have. But this piece is actually going to be in the front, so I didn't mind if these cut out or not. It was an active decision not to put that shim in there, uh, because it'll look frothy even if it doesn't, um, even if the holes don't all come out. And that was more my intention, um, was to have the decorative. So I didn't mind if they didn't come out, is what I'm saying. So it's the paper, paper I use, not the products because I didn't shim it, it's thicker. 
So I think I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want, I don't actually want all of them to come out. I love the effect that it has with just the little tiny ones in there. So that's perfect. So let's, um, so then with this die, you put this way, this way, and then I've got another piece, not that one, not that one. I cut it out of another paper, this one. This is the one. And I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, nope, that's the same one. What did I do? I cut, where is it? This one. This will make great little pocket. See how I did that? So these are out of cardstock, and then this one is from watercolor paper. I actually had some watercolor paper that I had already um, colored, so it was ready to go. So I want to use that as a pocket in this journal. So what I want to do is get some paper to put behind it. Now, see, I cut the, I'm going to cut extra pieces out so I can make another one later, or use these as, um, I could put them on edges of pockets. So if there's another pocket, I can put it on there and just use like a portion of it. You know, I can do that with this one, or I can make a smaller little water decorate, decor decorative. I could do it this way, um, whatever. So this is another option or extras to use in there as I go along. But this one is the one I want to work with today. And so let's set that aside. So many ideas, you guys. Stick with me. My mind is brimming with ideas. Now, if I can get them out on paper, that's another story. <laughs> that is a totally another story. Okay, let's see if we can figure out what we would like. Oh, I'd hate to cover up that crab, though. He's so pretty. We could do something like this. I think you can probably see where I'm going with it, though. Maybe not this paper. But we could use, let's see if I've got something else. I know I do here. I know I've got something. Oh, you know what? This might be a great place to use one of these maps. I'm not super fond of the map, so I don't mind covering it. And I know that these papers will fit because this is one of them inside of there with a little bit of extra when I put the pages in. So this actually would be great. And I'm thinking I probably still want to put cardstock behind it because it's not super strong. Let's will this fit. It'll fit this way. I'm not super fond of this paper either. So let's let's do that. Let's do that. Let's use up some of these scraps and things. So yeah, thinking about make let's make a pocket. Um, I have some another die set from Timu I will also put in the description box. Do you guys, have you seen that pack of 50? It's usually $11.99, but sometimes it's on sale. They actually offered it to me for half price this last week. So definitely check. Um, I think it was a limited time thing, but definitely check on that because it seems to go up and down a little bit. So you might be able to get it for $5.99 as well. Um, Unfortunately, I didn't take advantage of it on time, so I'm going to keep checking back and see if I can get it for that price, because I like that price way better. But I found some ocean. They're all random. There's no guarantee what's in there, but there were a lot of animals. I did have some ocean ones in there, so I'm looking to use those in this journal. And I'll show you those in just a bit. There's a lot of cooking ones, a lot of animals in there. There's a lot of botanicals in there. Let me think what else is in there. Uh, I like the brick side better than the pink. So let's just cover up the pink, the pink foil. Let's cover that up. And I've already messed it up a little bit. It's not straight, so we'll just kind of put it on there, cut it. Okay. So yeah, all kinds of fun things in that pack. I love it. And I haven't gotten to use them yet, so... This will be a great day to start. There, now we've got this one. Oh shoot, I just dropped one of them. It's a little flower. Okay, sorry, while I was down there, I saw something. I was like, oh, could I use that? It's so bad, guys, it's so bad. It's like, oh, inspiration on the floor. <laughs> But you know, 
you get inspired by the strangest things sometimes. So you gotta look. Okay, so here's our pocket now, or the base of our pocket. I do want to go ahead and round my corners. Don't have to do this. Don't have to, just the top ones, I think. I'm just making it up as I go, but I think that would be very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and ink around the outsides of it because I know I'm gonna wanna do that. This is already pretty inked, but it's gonna have a white edge on it because I did cut it. So I'll we'll just kind of briefly go around the sides. This paper is so pretty, there's not a lot I have to do to it. I just don't care for the design that much, but that's okay. Look, it's got the, the United States right there. I had to think about it, I was like, it is, right? <laughs> yes, it is. All right, just briefly, don't have to do too much. Now these, we're gonna have to trim them back and that's fine, that's totally fine. Put this one here. Now we could put these up a little bit and give more space to these if we wanted to. Another trick we can do is only glue, like, oh, we'd have to do this one down lower. This one might be more decorative or a little, you know, just a little tuck. But I think I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit more. One of the tricks we can do, what I was gonna say is, when we glue these, like these back ones, we can glue just the sides so that whatever we put in there can go all the way down to the bottom. So this one, front one, would be glued down at the bottom and that's what would hold everything in. So we could leave the bottom open on these, which would be nice because you could tuck a little bit bigger tag or something in there. I think that's really what I wanna do. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go, it's gonna be right about here. And right about here. Oops. We'll be trimming this one back because it's over the edge and I kind of went over the edge on that one too, and that's okay. So this one will be open at the bottom so we'll be able to stick things all the way through. Kind of like a belly band. This one I want to ink. This one's dark enough, it wouldn't show anyway, but this one is a little bit lighter. This is the paper that I used on that little car. It looks pretty cute grungy. I'll go ahead and ink this one up. I guess I don't have to do the bottom. The bottom will be covered, so that doesn't matter, but we'll put a little ink in here as well. So now placement of this one, we can go down a little bit lower if we want to, or we can keep it right up here at the top. I think that's kind of where it looks the nicest. So we'll just actually, uh, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna glue this part. I'm also, this one has little tiny pieces that are loose here, so I'm gonna make sure there's glue on those. And once that's set down, I'll know where to glue this other side. Right there on the edge. Alright, and then this piece of watercolor. Oh, I should have dropped all this down a little bit more, but we're going to put it right there. That's actually okay because you know what I could do? I could put a little um, label or something with a sentiment down here and that would be really cute too. So that worked out all right. Guys, if you, my tummy growls, I'm sorry. I did not eat breakfast yet this morning. And I'm feeling it. Okay. We're just going to put this little strip right down here. Let's put it up here at the 
this way. And then this side I didn't glue yet. And then we'll trim this side off. All right. Wow, I love that. I love that. Absolutely love that. Okay, so what we can do with that. So now, oh, you know what? That didn't glue that down because I glued this to the other paper. So right now this is just a total belly band. Hmm. Let me think a minute. That was a mistake I made, but let's see how we can use it. If we can use it. Maybe I just glue the whole thing. I might just glue, I think I'll just glue that one down. So basically what I'm doing is gluing that second one down. Because I glued this top one to the second one. I should, I should have dropped it, but I couldn't because of the design. So that didn't work quite the way I expected, but it's still great. So here's another piece I cut. No, that would look funny. Okay, I love, I do love this. So I don't need to do anything more to it necessarily, but I do want to put a label down here of some sort, and I wonder what I have for that. You know, it'd be really cute too. Put some of this in there. No, it really takes away from the waves if I did. So, um, Let's see, do I have labels? I'm sure that I do. I know that I do. Do I have any nearby is the real question. That, ooh, as I dump everything over, I don't know. Do I have anything that will work there? <clears throat> I think we're gonna have to make some labels, guys. Maybe not right this minute, but I think we're gonna have to. Now I do have like stamps and things that I could put in there, but I don't have any beach themes, so that might be something we do too. Well, this one doesn't isn't beach theme, but it works, doesn't it? A couple of these could work in that journal. We'll kind of hold those aside. Could work with those. Here's one with blue on it. We're gonna hold those aside for this project. I think those will be nice. Okay. Here's an airplane one. <laughs> More fun things I've already made. I love that. All right, I'm gonna hold way too many aside for this. Um, and now that I've started a little box over here, we'll get them at least out of the way. Okay, so I don't have a label for that just yet. You know what, that's okay. I've got another idea, okay. So here, these are some of the um, the dies that came in that set that I thought might be fun. This looks like it could be, it could be kind of like an ocean flower maybe. I don't know. If we just say it is, it is. We've got some leaves. We've got some flowers. We could build up and make something fun out of that. I've got a little dolphin. Put him up in there somehow. Um... This could be, I don't know if this is a flower or a starfish, but I pulled that one out. I also have this set. And again, I apologize, I won't have the link to this one because I don't remember if this was TV. Actually, this is, well, it's now two, a couple sets put together, actually, now that I think about it. Because these are individual. I've got this little crab or lobster and starfish. These were for my stash. And this one, I'm not sure where I got these. So these are just lots of little pieces too. And there's a little starfish. So we could put a couple of little starfish. Well, we're going to call that a starfish. A little crabby. He'd be cute on there. 
and these are what I want to watercolor today. So what I want to do, because it's Watercolor Wednesday, did I mention it's Watercolor Wednesday? What I'd like to do, I'm not going to use the mermaid today. She would be fun somewhere in there. I think she'd be a fun little charm to add on to something. What I would like to do, here's one already cut, so we don't need him. We're not going to use this guy today. Or are we? We could. Okay, I got to get cutting before I do anything. And I don't need my paints until I have something to paint. So what I'm thinking, actually, we're going to do... I'm kind of liking this idea first. We're going to go with uh, all of it. I want to do all of it. <laughs> We're going to start with these guys. Okay. Got my plates right here. And I had that watercolor paper that I already started, that I started working with. Because it's already got a base layer of paint on it, it won't take as much work to get this turned into something beautiful. And because it already has that color on it, it's going to have the hues that will help blend it with the other things. So we're going to start there. Okay. And we're going to add some colors and things to this to make it amazing to these little guys even the little crabby starfish here and we're gonna play with these on that on that pocket and make them something into something really cute and really special I think I'm gonna need a shim on this before I start because that's what I'm finding necessary for not a big shim, just a, not a really strong here. This, this cardstock will help trim it. That'll just help add a little extra layer to help with the pressure. Sometimes this watercolor, watercolor paper doesn't like to cut as easily because it's made with 100% cotton. So it takes just a little extra. Oops, I didn't mean to go all the way out there. Let's run it one more time. Hopefully that will be plenty. You can see the pressure came all the way through. Oh yeah, that cut really nicely, I think. Think, at least on some of them. Might take a little effort for a couple others. This one looks like it's coming. It's just got little tiny pieces that I don't want to tear. So a little crabby came out. My goodness, he's cute. Little starfish, little shell. Let's see how the, well this one did. This is the one I'm a little bit worried about. It's actually doing really well. Really delicate. There we go. I hope you guys are doing great today. It's um, a beautiful Wednesday here in Alabama. Today is day seven working in a row for me. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm a little tired. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to my week, my my staycation days coming up got today and then I'll work a shift tomorrow and I'm thinking I may cut that one a little bit short I might because I could use some time my body is tired and I've got things to do I've been putting off repairs around the house just don't have the time. I mean, I can start it, but I can't get anything finished like that. So it's really hard to um, to 
to focus on stuff like that when you have other things that you have to do for the day. Those repairs get put off. Okay, I really want one more, at least one more of these. So you guys, I'm sorry you're going to have to suffer through me doing this one more time. Um, <clears throat> you know, even this color is beautiful. I don't think I'm going to do very much to it. <clears throat> but I'd like one more. Is there one? This one goes the other direction. Let's cut this one. So we can have like a rounded. Let's put a couple extra pieces on there because we can. They'll fit. Did this one come out? You know, I'll put the little crab in there again. He's just too cute for words. And we're going to put our shim on it because that worked out really nicely. And I think I'm going to run it to run it through an extra set of times just to try to help those um, that plant come out a little bit easier. We did it twice, a set of two last time. So there's this is the second, and we'll go through one more time just to make sure everything is all the way pushed through. Should be. The other one was, but I think this might help. Get that last little bit out. There we go. Alright, and I think I'm done with this today. I don't, we don't need to make a bunch of die cuts today. That would be silly. Look, a little jellyfish. I didn't even notice him. How cute is that? Another shell. A little crabby. A little seahorse. Oh, I love that. A little fish. And then let's see how this one pops. Yeah, it helped a little. It didn't make too big of a difference, but you can see I'm able to get it out a little faster this time. So it did make a difference. I want to carefully get this one out. And we'll do some painting on these. Oh, I don't really do need to do too much because the color is mostly there. I really love the color that's there. Um, shoot, as much as it's watercolor Wednesday, I don't know. Do I really want to add more color? Let's look at it when we get it out. Let's play with it a little bit. I'm not going to put all these shapes on this pocket, so let's see. Put that aside and put that aside. Now, the biggest things that I want on here is going to be this and this, I think. I think these would frame it really beautifully and kind of do the label thing down here that I was thinking about kind of add something here like this kind of like you're looking through looking through a window in a way and then so yeah I do kind of want to put something a little darker Ooh, I have a better idea where is it my paste let's put some gilding wax on there yes let's do that and then we can put little creatures little crabbies little seahorse maybe we could put oh 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 we could put this big one like the focal point right here and then we could put these little critters up in here <gasps> yes 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 and then the little this little starfish and then I've got another crab we've got I don't need the jellyfish we got some shells I don't need that one I like the shells and the starfish okay we are going to go ahead and do some water coloring now we wouldn't have to if we had a lot more variation in our color, but since I cut these out of that, there is already paint on them, so that helps. But what I'm thinking, I think I'm going to put some darker blue on here too. Okay, we are going to do some water coloring. We're going to be done with those for now. I think I've got the pieces that I want. Let's see. I'm going to use, I'm going to use my Munio paints. Sorry about that. I just knocked my trimmer. I got so excited. I knocked my um, 
my guillotine on the floor. Sorry, Gretchen. She was laying right near it. All right. I just got so excited. I'm like, I have a plan. I know what I'm doing. Yes, I do. All right. We've got the towel. My teen Moo towel. You guys look how, how nice and grungy it is from my watercolors. It's working so nicely. Um, I think I just want to do, I'm just going to use a very small brush. Um, these are Christy Rice paint brushes. I love them. Uh, let's see here. Let's, but it doesn't matter what brush you have for this. This is, this is an easy, easy task. Okay. So I just want to add some similar color to this. Now, what did I use? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. We're going to use some Prussian blue. We're going to, I'm going to mix some colors here. I don't know. I want to get something similar. That's going to be more turquoisey. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I'm thinking you can. I'm going to, I'm going to try to aim towards this color a little bit. And then I want to put some green in that because it's very green. Malachite green. Oh yeah. We're on to something. That's really close. Oh my gosh, that was easy. I'm going to add a little more blue to that. That was easy. And look how nicely that goes. I'm going to water that down a little bit because I don't need it that thick. Now what I want to do is I'm going to do this on these. I just want to get little touches of this in here and it'll soak. It'll just kind of do its... Don't need to put much on there, just a little bit to color in different spots, I think. Just a touch. Not trying to totally change it, just add a little something something. We're going to do these first because I want to put some gilding wax on there. I think that'll be beautiful. But this will help highlight those colors so that they don't blend in too much. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it definitely does make a difference. You can probably see it better in person, but I'm going to kind of put a little bit of darker on here too. It will get a little bit lighter as it dries. Beautiful. All right, there's that one. Just a little color. Makes a difference. could have probably just touched this in that paint too but I didn't want it to I don't want it to be too wet because then it won't dry in any any quick amount of time and then I won't be able to work with it okay there's that one now these I do want to put I think I, you know what I'm going to do I'm going to get this one all wet in the center here not too wet that's too wet and then I think I just want to drop a little bit of color right there and let it do whatever it's going to do. Maybe I'll help it just a little along those lines. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Okay, let's do something similar with these little crabbies. I think I'm just going to put a little bit of dark on the feet. On the side there. I didn't put much, did I? That didn't work as well, but that's okay. We're going to blend that in then. If it's not doing what I had intended, we'll just help it. We want him to stand out though, so that's, that's the point of it. We want that color to come out a little bit. 
this one. I think I'm just going to put a little there. Add a little bit of highlights there. Same thing to this one. Don't need to do too much to this one either. Or this one. Just use that color to make it just a little different. Okay, we can get this little guy. Too much water. We're going to add some brown in here too. The color of this guy is pretty much white. He didn't get a lot of color when he got painted. All right, I like him now. Okay, so I want to add some browns. Not a lot of brown, just a little bit of brown. more water you use, the lighter that color will be. And I don't need much. Just want to kind of add it in there. I'll probably use Distress Ink as well, but sometimes Distress Ink doesn't quite, it's not going to have the same effect as adding a little bit of color in here with the paint. So we'll just add a little bit Just touches of it. No particular spots, just adding it in. Hope you guys can see okay. All right, so, oops, I'm gonna add a little bit more to this guy. Maybe not that much. All right, so that's all I really want to do for that. That's our watercolor Wednesday. Hooray! Okay, now let's move these guys aside just for just for for a bit. Now, what I want to do with these guys, these two, I'm gonna add some of this. Why? Because it's cool much just a tiny touch and we're just gonna kind of dab it in there and this is a gilding wax I got um, this is a, a it's in a water-based form works pretty well you can use any gilding wax if you want to you could use gold uh, watercolors you could use um, let's see what else could you acrylic paint. You could use gold acrylic paint to do the same effect, really. And what I'm just doing is just highlighting the edges of it just to give it a little sparkle to make it stand out a little bit more. It doesn't make a huge, a huge effect, but it definitely does show. And it's going to make the pieces that are on top of it stick out a little bit more, too. I'm still getting used to using this version of it because I used to use the, the wax in the little tub. And I really like that, but it got dried out so quickly, it feels like. And I never got to use all of it, so I 
did I really just dip my finger to wash it off? I really did. Well, it worked. <laughs> it worked. So why not? Now we could actually wax those little guys too. That might be fun. I'll scrub that off later. Or let's try distressing them with the ink first. Just a touch. What a difference, man. It really does make a difference. Love that. Love it. This is going to be a super cute pocket. I might have to keep this journal. I don't know. I was going to put it in my Etsy, but I might have to keep this one and make another one. We'll see. Just kind of get those edges if you can get in there. Sometimes it's really hard to get in those little spaces, but if you can, it, it's definitely worth it. This is the difference. So this is the, can you guys see that? This is the difference between inked, not inked. See how grungy and different it looks? It's got a little more touched of the brown to it. So I really, really like it. Get those white edges out of there. Makes it look a little more part of it. Just a couple more pieces. And last but not least, we're not going to try to do the edges of the seaweed because those have the gilding wax on them and it would be impossible to get those edges. So there's that. Now, let's glue these down. Got a little piece that's kind of funky right there. What is that? All right, the paper was just peeling a little bit. Okay. Sorry, I'm concentrating. Kind of put this this way as much as I can. I want to be careful with this because if this goes too much in the middle then you won't have that space for your pocket. So you want to go to the edge as much as possible so that you can still slide things in there without tearing that. Love the gilding wax. That was a fun idea. Now this could also be a floating pocket. We could, um, oh that would be fun. Let's make it a floating pocket. We could actually stamp up the back of it or put and put another piece of paper back there, put another pocket back there. And then it would just clip in the journal. It doesn't have to stick to a page. <clears throat> that might be a really great idea. We still have enough things cut out and stuff that we don't have to start over too. Okay, so I really love this one. I think I want to go ahead and I may want to put gilding wax on these too. Just a touch. Look how pretty that is. I think I do. I think I do just a little bit. It'll really make a difference. Get my finger dirty again, but it'll make a difference. <laughs> just add it in there just a little bit. beautiful. This wax is gorgeous. Okay. 
Yep, that, that, was, that was truly the right thing to do. All right, now we need to put, I want to put these guys on there too. These are going to get a little gilding wax. As much as I was saying, oh, we don't have any gilding wax on these little ones. They've got the distressing. No, it's going to look great. In all different directions, we can put this one here. Just put this little cluster of C down here at the bottom. We could still put a sentiment down here, but we wouldn't have to. Should we put a little crabby down here? That's too much, isn't it? But we could put could put him here. Or put him here on this side and put the sea, seahorse there. Or not at all. We could put them on the back. Okay, I really like this the way it is. Um, I'm going to take this gilding wax, though that's dried up now. I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to go around the edges of the card. That'll help make it kind of tie together with the with the decorative stuff. Now do I have a tag or anything to put in here? No I don't but I will. <laughs> I will definitely add one. There we go. All right, I didn't use much. It's already dry on my on my paper on my platform here. All right, so let's look at the back and see what we want to do there. So we've got this is great. We've got. A little pocket here that'll go there and then we've got this little pocket here and we have a little tuck spot right here too if we want to use that little tiny one so we could also do something up here but I'm really loving you know the way it is right now I could add more of the greenery up in here but I, I really like it do you guys like it is it good I hope so okay this side now this side we want to do something too. We don't want to do anything too crazy because it's going to end up getting way too thick if we do. But we can definitely put some paper back here. Maybe another map. Oh my wonky birds got it up in there. Okay, let's see. We could put in off. Even though they came from the same pad of paper, the color is funny off. Isn't that funny how sometimes you, you're in the same pad of paper, but the colors are so different. I don't like the Paris down here, but I can cover that. Well, why not? Why, could, why couldn't it have? Because I'm thinking local. My beach is local. Over here looking under some of the other papers that I pulled. Maybe this one would be nice. This one would be nice. Let's use this one. And we'll just glue it down. Go from there. Sure. 
Actually, those colors look really nice together when you flip it. It does look like it's supposed to be there, so that's good. Just trim this stuff off. Sorry if I was off camera there. I need new glasses so I can see better. So I won't keep pulling it towards me. This might be something that I sew around as well. Maybe. We'll see. I think I would like it. I think I would like that a lot. So I'm going to put, well, let's do something on the back though. Um, I do have those other pieces. Could do it again. I wouldn't do all of it though. Let's see. I feel like if I put them at the bottom, it's going to make this really chunky down here. But what if I made one pocket and just use this for the top? Something like that. Would be really nice actually. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cut this piece. Come here, chomper. Whoa. I'm gonna cut this piece so Paris isn't as obvious. I do like the red on there, but I don't like the Paris. Then straight across here. Help me get that straight. Okay. I think that's straight. It doesn't look straight. So that's what we'll do. Okay. And we could put some critters on there, but I, I think I think I'm not. I think maybe maybe we can put him on there. He's pretty cute. And we'll just leave it at that. I'll keep the other pieces for tag the tags that go in there, maybe, or something like that. That way they coordinate, at least. Okay, you guys, I think that's it for today. Oh, it's not it for today. What am I saying? I still have to distress this. We're almost done. That's for sure. We're so close. And I just had to turn my camera back on, so that tells me we've been at this for about an hour on this pocket. <laughs> That's a long time, but thank you for sticking it out with me, and I love having you here. I love how this is turning out, too. I do, I do, I do. Should have tipped. done this in here, but I can still get it this way. I'll just kind of grunge that up just a bit. This paper, too. And then just like the other side, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of the gilding wax on there. Just a touch. Around the outside. 
both sides, especially. Maybe a little bit in the ugh, in the water too. Just a little bit. I think there's enough there. There we go. Maybe here too. Maybe just what wipes off my finger on that part. There. All right, you guys. That's it for this one. Thank you so much. I could we could add more decorative stuff to there, but for this for now, I think we're done. I think when uh, we make the journal up and get that going, I think we'll know if it needs some more. Maybe a charm on here or something like that would be really cute too. So in the meantime, this one is Benito, and it's gonna fit in here beautifully. This see, this would make a cute journal cover too so so fun it's going to be a great addition so i hope you guys enjoyed that one i hope i was able to inspire you to make something beautiful today have a wonderful day thanks so much for joining me please hit that like and subscribe button it really helps my channel grow so that i can bring you more content thank you thank you thank you and we'll see you in the next one Bye bye